Hey, what's up? This is Mr. Gray from the Care Center in room 701W. Hi, Poly students. This is Ms. Carla Galvez, your school social worker here at the Care Center Annex. And we met with some of our students regarding this really important topic of anti-bullying. And this is what they came up with. So we want to present it to you today. They did an amazing job. And um, I don't know, we just need this so that we can come together as a school and work on this situation and really make it better. All right, here we go. What is bullying? Bullying is an unwanted aggressive behavior that is often repeated over time. You do not deserve what is happening and you do not cause it to happen. Here are some statistics on bullying and 20% of students report being bullied. And of course, it's higher than that because that's the percentage of students that actually report it. And that would be 800 poly students. What does bullying look like? Bullying can exist in many different forms. Social bullying, verbal bullying, cyber bullying, and physical bullying. Verbal bullying, it includes name calling, insults, teasing, intimidation, homophobic or racist remarks. While verbal bullying can start off harmless, it can escalate to levels which start affecting the individual person. Social bullying can harm someone's social reputation and or cause humiliation and includes lying and spreading rumors, negative facial, physical gestures, playing mean jokes and embarrass, to embarrass and humiliate, mimic unkindly, encourage others to socially exclude somebody. And social bullying can be anything like lying, uh, spreading rumors, playing mean jokes or mean pranks on them, anything that can be considered humiliating or embarrassing. Almost 40% of students have experienced cyberbullying. And again, that's who reports it. So it's, I'm, I know it's even higher. We must do better. We will do better. Cyberbullying. Cyberbullying involves using computers, phones, and other electronic devices to bully other kids, whether publicly or privately. Writing mean text, emails, or social media posts. Posting or circulating embarrassing photos or videos. Intimidating other students online using their username. A high percentage of bullied students are disabled students. 70% of LGBTQ plus students have been bullied. Physical bullying includes hitting, kicking, tripping, pinching, and pushing another person and or damaging personal property. This causes both short-term and long-term damage to the person being bullied. This is a behavior that is repeated over time. That it's learned behavior. And typically, a bully who's harming someone has been harmed themselves by someone else in the past. So it's a cycle. And if you are someone that bullies, someone that harasses, these are two of the biggest reasons why people do that, all right? It's because you feel it's your only way to have power in your life, over situations, all of that. And then secondly... A lot of times it's because you've been put down, you've been harassed, you've been bullied, you've been messed with by others. And we're here in the care center to help you through that. There's no reason that you need to act out on, you know, the stuff that you've been through, right? We want to help. Scrawny, chubby, short, queer. Getting caught up in bullying, it's so easy because you're just glad that you're not being bullied. It's been hard for me to stand up for other people because I feel like I'm already a target. It's just easier to do nothing. Stop. Fine. Dude, 
Ow, stop. Ow, do you have any friends? Yes, I heard you. What are you even doing here? <laughs> it's almost too easy. <laughs> stop. Ow. Come on, come on. I get it. Maybe I you are a little bit more. Oh. You think you're special? One more Virginia meal. I just opened it up and it's all smashed. Let's Did you it. order bullied or unbullied? Bullied or unbullied? Yeah. Do you have a manager that I can speak to? Because that doesn't even make yeah. any sense. Hi, your manager. Hi, how's it going? I was given this. Did you bully this burger? Well, yeah. This is a defenseless Whopper Jr. It can't defend itself. You don't mean anything by it. It's just for it's laughs. It's just for laughs. Just give me my burger, man. What the f is going on here? What? Are you, is there something wrong with you? Because that's clearly what happened. You can't be serious. Had you seen me bullying this burger, would you have stood up and said something? Yeah. It's good to know. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah? What's your name? Uh, Reese. Hi, Reese. We're just having fun. You having fun? He's not having fun. So therefore, I think you guys should just leave him alone. See you later. This feels better to me. Have you ever been like messed with before? Oh my god. I mean, like the ideal world is where if somebody else sees like something weird happening, that they'll come over and be like, "Hey, <laughs> this is not okay." Yeah. To feel defenseless. That's that's the one of the worst things in the world. Chelsea came and. She would just tell them that it's not okay, because it isn't. Something I'll never forget is my friend standing up for me. I've been that kid, so if I see it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something about it. And I hope there's more people out there like that. As you get older, you understand how your actions can affect both like your today and your future. So every action you take is a vote for the type of person you wish to become. What can I do when I'm being bullied? Visit the Care Center room 701W or Care Center Annex room 124. Look at the student bullying you and tell them to stop in a calm, clear, strong voice and tell them to walk away. Talk to a trusted adult like a family member, counselor, social worker, or teacher. With the support of a trusted adult, develop a plan on how to respond to the situation. So look, we can create a school culture of helping each other. As Desmond Tutu said, if you're neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. And Dr. King stated, in the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. What should we do when we see someone being bullied? Talk to a teacher or another trusted adult. Adults need to know so they can help. Be kind to the student being bullied. Show them that you care by trying to include them. Sit with them at lunch or talk to them in class. Just being with them will help them know they aren't alone. Invite them to join one of the clubs that you are interested in or a member of. Not saying anything could make it worse for everyone. The student who is bullying will think it is okay to keep treating others that way and the student being bullied may think they deserve it. What can you do if you see bullying going on? Well, you can tell the bully to stop in a calm, in an assertive way, you can walk away. If you're being bullied, who can you tell? You can tell a family member, you can tell a counselor, a teacher, 
uh, your school social worker, someone in the care center, any staff that you feel comfortable with sharing what's happening, um, you can tell. The important thing is to say something, right? If you're being bullied or if you see someone that's being bullied. If you see someone being bullied, please be a friend, be an ally, be kind. Two football players going above and beyond by donating clothes to a teen bullied by classmates. The teen says he was bullied for wearing the same clothes every day to school. Alexa Rodriguez has this story. Awesome. The best day of my entire life was basically. Freshman Michael Todd was taken out of third period at MLK Prep Monday morning. I was very happy. I was shocked completely. He froze when football players Christopher Graham and Antoine Garrett handed him a gift. You guys are awesome. A gift that changed Michael's entire school year. Bags full of shirts, shorts, shoes, and more. He went smile, and I was like, yeah, I think this is going to make him smile. I told him, I said, you know, when we was in the same third period, he was like, yeah, I said, I apologize for laughing at you, and I want to give something to you to make it up. Michael was getting made fun of for three straight weeks at his new school. I've been bullied my entire life. He would wear the same clothes every day, and students at MLK Prep would mock him for it. No, I don't really have clothes at home. My mom can't buy clothes for me because I'm growing too fast. When I saw people laugh at him and bully him, I felt like I needed to do something. So Christopher went through his closet and grabbed a bunch of clothes and texted his friend Antoine for help. I got some shoes, some brand new shoes I can give him, and I got a couple items I can give him too. They packed all that up and gave it to Michael. The shorts, the pants, the shoes made a difference. This is like the second shoes I have on right now. <laughs> Basically, that's all. Today, Michael was already wearing those new army green sneakers they gave him. It was a weak moment for me. I was going to cry. And then I don't cry when at lunch he told me, he was like, you know, you two the only two that actually ever give me a gift. The help isn't stopping in the halls of MLK Prep. People from states away have seen the video and want to send Michael clothes. All this is thanks to two high school students who want to put a stop to bullying. You guys are the best guys of my entire life. In Frazier, Alexa Lorenzo, Fox 13 News. That is wonderful. You see just how much it means for them to give, mm -hmm. too. That is really something. All right, so here's, here's something that we're asking you to consider. What is one thing you can do or one action you can commit to doing this year to improve your fellow students' sense of belonging on campus, like feeling connected to the school? Who are our trusted adults at school? Any of our teachers, our CSOs, campus security officers, and coaches. Care Center 701, in Care Center Annex 124, your counselor 113, principal and assistant principals 119. So let's be kind and treat everyone with respect. How can I do that? Well, first you can stop and think before you say or do something that may be hurtful. If you're being mean, take a break. Find something else to do. Also, you can keep in mind that everyone has different perceptions. Everyone is different and that is okay. If you may have bullied someone, apologize. That helps everyone feel better about the situation. Remember, if you're being bullied, tell a trusted adult. And if you see someone being bullied, show them that you care by just being a good human being, by being a friend. What will you do? As we get older, we bear great responsibility for the choices that we make, and our choices determine how others view us. What is one action you will take to prevent or respond to bullying amongst your peers. And lastly, so read the quotes below and choose one that stands out to you. And what is the important message in this presentation? 